Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to use Git Bash to actually copy MP3 files over into a new directory. Um, I'll also be showing you how to create a directory in Git Bash as well. Um, I won't spend too much time on that as it's not too difficult. All right, so let's dive right in. So to give you a back um, story of why I'm doing this, so the Sansa, as you can see right here, the Sansa songs, the Sansa is an MP3 player that I recently found. Um, it had 145 songs on it and is about 10 years old. So I plugged it in, of course, got excited about some of this old stuff that I used to listen to and wanted to make a uh, playlist. Well, when I did that and uh, all the songs kind of, and I'll click into this, kind of showed up like this in each individual folders. So if I wanted to play all these MP3 files, I actually have to physically go into each of these. There's another folder and then actually grab and play. Let me stretch this out. Grab and play this MP3 file. Now, another thing you could do is create a new directory and actually drag each file into the new directory if you wanted, but that would take a long time as well. So I'm going to show you how to um, do that in Git Bash. So as you can see, I'm already in the D, which is where this file is sitting. And then I'm in the Sansa project, which is what I named this folder. Um, so first off, we're going to go ahead and create a new directory. So in this case, we are going to um, create one, let's just call it MP3 files. So you're going to MKDIR, which is make directory. And what do we want to name it? We want to do, we want to name it MP3 files. And as you can see over here, it just popped up MP3 files. So I'm going to go in there. There's nothing there. So what we want to do is we want to CD. Actually, let's do an LS, which is a list. And you can see inside the current uh, folder directory we're in, you can see MP3 fire, files and Sansa. We want to actually go into the Sansa. So CD, S-A-N-S, and you can actually hit tab and it'll, it'll populate that for you. So now we're inside there. Um, now let's grab all the MP3 files. Um, and the way you do that is very, uh, pretty simple. You want to, just a second, you want to find inside of this directory a type F, which is for file, because we don't care about any directories. We only want the files. With a name, make sure you do a semicolon. I'm sorry, an asterisk, hello. Um, and then dot mp3. So that should find all the mp3 files. Okay, and then next you wanna execute this. Copy, which is cp, into the directory we need. So the directory we need is d sansa project mp3 files. And that looks like this, d Sansa project mp3 files and then within with the forward slash and then at the very end of all this you need a backslash and then a semicolon so now what it's going to do is it's going to go into all of these uh, this folder with all these songs grab only the mp3 files anything that contains a dot mp3 Oops, let me make that a little bigger dot mp3 and then it's going to send it over to this folder so let's see that in action boom and as you can see they're all starting to populate uh, now that would take you again a very long time to drag every single one of those one at a time uh, this is a quicker way to do it so just to kind of recap um, this find inside of folder so we had you had to actually go to the folder where these things are at you can find the type F for file. You gotta give it the name. So the name is .mp3, execute, CP is for copy. Then you're running that. Um, and then you gotta give it the destination of where this is going. And then of course, end with a backslash and a semicolon. Again, to create a new directory, and there's a lot of stuff out there. Oh, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> I just did it a second time. Uh, anyway, there's a lot of um, things out there that um, explain how to make a new directory, but MKDIR is how you make a new directory. And then you just give it a name, blah. Um, if you just want to file instead of a, a new directory, I can show you that as well. So right here, C 
cd dot dot forward slash so we're actually going to go back to the samsung project we got out of the songs as you can see we're only in the project now and if you do touch and then name something so we'll just say test it'll make an actual file instead of a directory over here that says test so touch for the file and then of course mkdir for the directory all right i will uh, end it there hopefully this was helpful if you guys have any kind of questions for me comment um or uh, send a message direct directly thank you and have a great day